While Grumpy Cat still reigns supreme as the most influential pet on social media, a rising number of Atlanta pets are becoming insta-famous and cashing in on this multi-billion dollar industry. From that dude squad to Indy the Golden Doodle, who moonlights as an Atlanta Trails ambassador, these local pooches are making their mark. Pet influencers, the engagement is just off the chain. They engage 10 times as many users than their human compatriots. Take Teddy, the spaz man. You know, he's the coolest, chillest dog on the planet. I think. At just four years old, this lovable goofy hound mix, Rescue, has sold thousands of calendars, has a book on Amazon, and even a deal with Hallmark. He made me happy looking at his faces and he made my friends happy and I just wanted to share that with everybody. Teddy's momager Diane Warren says he gets solicited from brands at least five to six times a day. <laughs> but for Teddy, the reward is in the lives he's touching. No, I've gotten so many messages that he helps them get through a bad day. And Teddy has lots to say about his fans. Like <laughs> he has more than 65,000 Facebook and Instagram followers who adore him. Gosh, he's gotten so many things. Blankets, collars, photos of him or drawings. It's so yeah, cute. It's cute. But when I'm scrolling on Facebook, I'll stop at a cat video all day, any day. <laughs> Danica Cumble says it's a hot time for pet influencers. 30% of pet owners follow pets on social media. So why wouldn't brands want to work with pet influencers? Cumble is CEO of Everywhere Agency, a social media and influencer marketing firm. She says brands look for pets who are photogenic, have personality, and followers they interact with. A brand who's going to want to work with a pet influencer is going to look for a pet influencer, A, who creates gorgeous content, B, who's got a fantastic following, but three, and perhaps most importantly, has true engagement because they want to make sure that those followers are real and that the community is really engaging with that content. And while fame and fortune may be alluring, pet owners need to make sure their pets come first. If you do want to be a pet influencer, do it for the love of the pet. Oh, I did so good! Not for the love of the almighty dollar. Look at, what's this? What's this? Warren agrees. Oh, because if he goes out there and he's not having fun, I stop shooting. Fortunately for Teddy, fame hasn't gone to his head yet, although his first siblings may disagree. You know, they get a little jelly once in a while when we're shooting. Next up for Teddy, his very own Hallmark ornament, which will be available in the next couple of weeks. I'm Karen Greer, CBS 46 News. I'm sure Teddy is very grounded. <laughs>